Hi and welcome to the second half of our search strategies video. In the first half of the video we saw that there are a lot of problems with the fact that the library catalog and databases are simply playing a matching game on our keywords. One of those problems is that there are often different forms of the same words. So for example the word meditation had other forms such as meditating, meditate, and meditated. Homeschooling had different forms such as homeschool and homeschooled. So there is a way around this problem and that is to use the asterisk symbol, which is often called wildcard searching. The way it works is you want to look at all the different forms of the word and identify what the common start to all those different forms is. So in our meditation example, all of those forms of the word start M-E-D-I-T-A-T. -T. Once you've identified that, you simply put an asterisk at the end. If you type this into a database, it will consider it an exact match anytime it finds a word that starts M-E-D-I-T-A-T. -T. The only thing you want to keep an eye on is that this doesn't work very well when the root part of your word is really short. So for example, if you were doing research on wolves, you wouldn't want to type in W-O-L asterisk because in addition to wolf, and wolves, you'd also get matches on wor words like wolverine, wolfsbane, as well as places and people's names. Another problem that we saw is that phrases often don't stay together. Phrases are two or more words that when put together, they take on a new meaning other than their individual words. So for example, home and school are individual words on their own with their own meanings. Put together, you have homeschooling and that takes on a meaning all of its own. In order to retain that meaning, you want to put things in quotes. So anytime you have two or more words that you want to stay together, put them in quotes. That tells the database it needs to find those two or more words together and in that exact order. If it doesn't find them together and in that exact order, it will not consider it an exact match. Another problem we saw is that we have different words for the same thing. So for example, a search for meditation didn't bring back a match on a similar word like mindfulness. A uh, search for college would not find a match on the word university. Also, we sometimes have different ways of spelling the same word. So homeschooling can be two words or one word. There is a way around that, and that is the search command OR. To use OR, you need to take a couple of steps, and the first step is to brainstorm different words for your idea or concept. So for example, meditation could be mindfulness, college, university, homeschooling as two words, and homeschooling as one word. You want to put the word OR between each one of your options. And then, a very important step, you want to put parentheses around your group of options. So that's identifying the group of options you're giving the database. You're saying that you need to find a match on the word meditation or the word mindfulness. I don't care which one, as long as you find a match on one or the other. Same thing, college or university, homeschooling two words versus one word. You can also go and take another step and add in that asterisk symbol or the quotation marks anywhere you think is appropriate. One last search command that's good to know about is the word and, and that's good to use when you're combining more than one idea for your topic. So for example, homeschooling and college, meditation and stress. All you need to do is put the word and between the different ideas in your topic. And those are some of the basic tips and tricks that can get you around some of the problems for keyword searching. If you have any questions about these search strategies, feel free to contact the library. We're always happy to help you out.